Hey there, YouTube, and welcome to Altcoin Picks. Today, we're going to be talking about the market, Bitcoin, ICOs that I'm personally watching, a coin that has some great news happening right now, and a coin that has some awful news, and then some crypto news. But before we begin, don't forget to smash that like button, and if you haven't subscribed yet, smash that subscribe button below. So, of course, the market. <laughs> It's getting super annoying. We're seeing red again. We are finally getting some exciting movement. Bitcoin was going up to, I think, around 12,000. The market cap was hitting $500 billion. Now we're at about $428 billion. We've lost $70 billion in about two days. My portfolio, and I'm sure many of yours, was going up. We were seeing some good and great, exciting momentum going, and then it drops 20 to 30%. Out of nowhere, there's not even any big FUD going on. It's just people just taking money. Super stressful, super annoying. But I guess this is what we get. We're in crypto. This is the ride that we've decided to ride. Now let's look at Bitcoin. So Bitcoin, we're looking at under $10,000 mark. Just February 20th, we were just about at that 12,000 mark, seeing again, positive momentum and it's gone. We've eclipsed that 10,000 mark, which was in my opinion a big milestone the good thing is we're getting more numb or immune to this this movement before when we hit the 10,000 mark everybody was panicking we saw scared articles news talking about bitcoins dropping bitcoin doing this now this is just like the china fud we're getting used to it and hopefully soon we'll do that huge run again so the coin that I wanted to talk to you about that has some, I guess you could say bad news or definitely is bad news is Titanium Blockchain. They posted on their Medium that they were hacked or some malicious act took over 16 million bar, which was from their company wallet. So the wallets were storing 4 million reserve bar tokens and 12 million for the team. Basically, that means that one or a few people, some criminal has an access to a large number of signature tokens of Titanium's closed ecosystem. Basically, they've decided to solve this. They're going to fork the ICO token bar and create a second token called T-Bar to be used with Titanium's closed ecosystem for goods and services in place of the bar token. Now, the T-Bar will be issued in a one-to-one -one ratio to all token holders, whether you bought during the ICO or you bought in the exchange. But do note that T-Bar will not be issued for most of the bar involved in the malicious act on that day. So I'm assuming that they maybe took a screenshot of the holders. If that's how they did it, there's this whole issue of exchanges. And if you bought after, I think this is going to be a whole entire mess that they're going to be dealing with for a while. Now, they did say that the bar that are on the exchange, they will have a form that will be provided for verification before T-Bar is released in the same amount as the current bar holding also they've asked exchanges to cease trading of bar so hopefully no one gets burned by this at least not super burned <laughs> so like i said i think this is going to be super hard for them to recover but they do say and this is some positive news that the mvp which is their prototype will be set to be released on march 1st 2018 so there's no change there which is good so if you do have bar and you will be soon having T-Bar. What are your plans with this project? I know there's a lot of FUD going around in a bunch of the Facebook groups. I just want to know what do you personally think? So now on to a more positive coin, Block Mason Credit Protocol. So they actually hit bid tricks. This is something that we have not seen happen for a while, well, at least myself. Granted, I have not been watching bid tricks that much lately, but this one has made some headlines in the Facebook groups. I personally did buy this a long time ago. I don't have any more, but this is awesome to see that they are able to jump on Binance and Bitrix with such a low market cap coin. I do like Block Mason. I don't have it. I'm just excited to see this. The volume has actually been jumping. It did reach about 84 million, then it dropped down to about five or three. Now, since the Bitrix announcement, we're at $31 million. Awesome to see. Good job, Block Mason. Granted, I still think Binance is way better than Bitrix, so the news isn't huge to me, but it's actually showing some positive movement for the coin. As we can see, it's up 25% in this sea of red. Now on to the ICOs that I will be watching. We have Keep Network. I'm actually not sure when that project has their ICO. I will look for more information on this and will post it on my ICO sheet when I get a chance. 
We have Next, which we have talked about this already, which is Neon Exchange. That one, I think they're doing their whitelist information on the 25th. Then we have DAV. I'm excited about that one. And I did do a coin analysis on this. I think their ICO is on April 30th. We have Autonomy. I'm still not sure. Granted, maybe they've posted some information I haven't found out yet when their ICO is. Then we have T Food, which I believe their sale started today. Yes, February 22nd. Correct me if I'm wrong there. And like I said, most of these I've already had on my list and I will add Keep Network as soon as possible within the next few days. And if you have any other ICOs that are super hyped or you're excited about, have a little market cap, a great idea, something, come to my Discord, comment in the comments below. Let me know what it is and I will check it out and decide if I think it should be added to the ICO sheet. And if you're the one that did it, I will shout out your name to let everyone know that you are to credit for this ICO we have found. So now let's talk about the news. We have Venezuela announces Petro Gold cryptocurrency one day after launching Petro. So according to Venezuelan leader Nicolas Maduro, I think he says his name, he announced a Petro called Petro. He announced a crypto called Petro Gold that would be backed by precious metals shortly after Petro was announced. And Petro is the oil backed crypto. The Venezuela's opposition run Congress criticized the crypto sales as an illegal and unconstitutional instrument to mortgage the country's oil reserves. Even the U.S. warned that citizens who bought the crypto would be violating the sanctions while investors voiced concerns over Venezuela's solvency and transparency. So it seems that they're going crazy over here. Investors don't know what to make of this new petrol gold since they are lacking details about the cryptocurrency. There is also a quote from an investment firm from Reuters saying, rather than buying a crypto backed by gold, they'd rather just buy gold. Gold is something physical that you want to hold and <laughs> because that's the whole point of owning gold. That's their quote. Paraphrase a little bit. <laughs> so things to note, Venezuela is currently facing one of the deepest recessions ever seen and citizens are forced to use cryptocurrencies to survive as the country's fiat currency has plunged in value. And that is something that many people invested in crypto expect to see more and more of the country's fiat value losing its the countries are losing their value of fiat because they're just printing them like crazy something the u.s is currently doing and then my final piece of news which i'll be quick here we have telegram ico so basically telegram looks like it will be setting a record being the first multi-billion dollar token sale and they've already raised over $850 million for the first round of the pre-ICO and is expected to raise the same number for the second round of the pre-ICO, which they just announced, kind of throwing off some of the initial investors, totaling around $1.6 billion just off of the pre-sale. And this is all before the ICO even opens for the public. That's ridiculous. $1.6 billion off of a pre-sale? I know it's Telegram, but... That's still kind of ridiculous to me. What do you think about this? I know Telegram's huge. We all use it, especially when we're trying to jump in for an ICO. But how could they be wanting that much? What the heck are they doing to want over $1.6 billion just off of the pre-sale? Anyways, that's my video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. My next video will be a coin analysis on Icon. I'm super excited to bring that to you. I've been doing massive amounts of research and I am just excited. The more and more research I do on these coins, these great ones, the more and more I love them. Blockport is a perfect example. Wanchain, another perfect example. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time.